Hello, comic book lovers. It is I, Chris, your broke comic book collector. And up next, I have a little haul video for you. Welcome back, comic book lovers. In this haul video, I... Now, you know I don't pick up much of new books just because I'm broke. But I did pick up... Whoops. I know I don't have it in a bag more. Don't yell at me. Uh, number 76. This is cover A. And this is cover B with that heavy cardstock cover, which I like, but... Well, it raised the price a dollar. So now they're five dollars a book. Getting close to that price to where I don't know if I'm gonna be able to afford them or not. But I don't like this cover. Well, I don't say I don't like it. I'm not fond of it. I really don't like Barry's face. I don't know how well you can see that, but I don't like his face. So anyway, story's been pretty good. Um and uh a town over from me, there is a antique, well, yeah, they do have some antique, some, some antique furniture, but it's mainly like collectibles, toys, records, books, uh, memorabilia kind of stuff. But in the back, they have comics. They have, and I've been in there before, but I never, I never really noticed them. Now, maybe they just started picking up the comics, but they have uh, one, five long boxes and then you turn to the left and then they have two spinner racks which I didn't look at the spinner racks because you know spinner racks the books were completely bent over probably should have looked you never know but and then they had one like the spinner rack um racks but they were metal they were slots you know those were okay so I looked at those and then they had metal bins with uh, four crossed, four down. But those, you know, you, the, the books in the back, you'd put them in there and then they'd slide down and all the other books you put on top of there and then they would wind up bending all the ones in the back. But I did look through most of them just because there's too many of them. But I did find Crisis on Infinite Earth number three. And I found number four. And this was the book that got my attention. Number five. It was kind of like I saw this. I just saw a little corner and I recognized all these little people. So that was the book that got my attention. And then I found number six. And I noticed when I got home, they're all that beautiful newsstand editions. So that was a, a, a bonus that I didn't even know about. And looking through some more, I found Marvel Team Up number 65, first appearance of Captain Britain. I think, at least in the American comics, I think it was out before this over in the UK. And it's another newsstand. Now, while I was at my LCS, I asked him, I've asked him before, does he have an old uh, an old copy he wouldn't mind getting rid of? And, oh yeah, sure, whatever. Well, he never remembered and I never remembered while I was there. Well, I was there, I went early because I wouldn't have been able to show up on my normal day only because we were going somewhere and we'd be gone all day. So I, I went in there and I eventually, I, I asked him, I'm like, hey, do you have an old, oh yeah, I have one. And he let me look at it and I was talking to him and he's like, here, just take it. I don't need it. But I'm, I'm going to slip him a little bit of money for it because just of what it is. It is, I've been looking, I've been wanting one because I've, I've been hearing about the information in these. It's the Overstreet Comic Book Price Guide. This is 2017-2018. These books are loaded with all kinds of information. There's things like... Uh, I got them marked off here. Things like, where's that? 
articles. The Overstreet Marketplace Report 2017. 2016 saw record sale prices for gold and silver age books of all grades. And it gives you a little breakdown of like the titles and how much they sold for. And then we have, what is this? Just top comics. The following table denotes the rate of appreciation of top golden age, platinum age, silver age, bronze age comics. And it just, you know, the top 100 golden age comics. And it gives you rough prices. You know, silver, bronze, copper. So get, and then grading definitions. This is kind of what I was looking for. And it, it tells you when grading a comic book, common sense must be employed. So overall eye appeal, beauty, and so forth and so on. So it breaks it down 10, a 9.4, 5.0. And it breaks it all down and it tells you what to look for. And now this I didn't even know. I never knew this. They talk about big little books in here. And it's a little, a grading scale. And then they have, turn the page. They have a price guide on, on big little books. And I don't know how many times I've seen big little books and just never bothered with them. And then I found this out. They have promo things about promotional comics. Little articles about promotional comics. And then they give you a price guide on promotional comics. Never, never knew that. And uh, the one, the, the big reason I wanted one, because the information that is in, in this book, like, uh, where is it at? I'm going to look, I'm going to look under Flash. Flash number uh, 124, the last 10 cent issue. 129, the second Golden Age Flash crossover. Uh, 139, the origin and first appearance of Professor Zoom, 140, origin and first appearance of Heatwave. So you could look in here and find first appearances. They have, uh, who did cover work on it? It'll say like, I don't know, some books say Neil Adams C, which would mean cover, or APP appearance. So, I mean, you could really look through this and find out appearances, origins, crossovers, who did cover work. You could really find out some good information. And one thing that I thought was, I just found and I thought was pretty neat. They have Overstreet Price Guide back issue. This is like, this over here is um, Overstreet Advisors on, the, on these pages. But 1970, the first Overstreet Price Guide. And they got it listed for $1,800. I don't know if they're selling it or someone else is selling it. But yeah, they got number one, number two, number three. So they list all the price guides that they have. So I thought that was pretty interesting. So I do recommend picking up an Overstreet price guide just for the articles. There's an article in here somewhere with Steve Borak of CBCS. There's an article about CGC. Of course, there's no PGX in here, but yeah. There's the articles and the information in one of these books. So I, I recommend picking one of these up. All comic lovers, that's my haul video. I hope you liked it. If you do, give it that big old thumbs up. You can find me on Facebook at Broke Cause of Comics. My name's Chris. This is my channel, Broke Cause of Comics. And comic lovers, I'll see you in the next video.